Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cubit. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can get a slick navigation for a visual that's using a hierarchy. And you could probably apply this tip to other visuals as well. Before we get into it, hit that like button, smash it if you so desire, and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, enough all this talking. You know, we like to do it here on Guy in a Cube. Let's do what? Let's head over to my machine. This is the visual I want to create. The type of visual, the bar chart, that doesn't matter. It could be any type that you want. What I really want to call out to you here is the fact that we've got a navigation of sorts where we can go from category to subcategory to product. And this is actually traversing a hierarchy for my products. Shout out to Chris Hamill, who actually created this. And when Patrick and I were looking at it, we're like, how did he do this? And so we had to deconstruct it to figure out. And then we were like, oh. On the visual itself for the category, we were doing a demo of sorts. Let me go to Power BI Desktop here. And what I was thinking, I'm like, all right, for the category, I want this to be a line chart. And then when I go to subcategory, it'll still be a bar chart. So I wanted to show like you can have different visual types. And so I hit subcategory and I'm like, wait a second, it's still a line chart. What's going on? And then it dawned on me, this is just the same visual. There's only one visual. Let's go back to our bar chart and let's actually see how we can create this. So let me go and create a new page. We'll just get started fresh. Walk you through all the clicks here. First, we're going to bring in our items here. So we're going to bring in total sales amount and we're going to bring in our product category. And this is an actual defined hierarchy. So we'll bring that in. Excellent. It looks cool. So first off, we're like, well, wait a second. It was shaded a bit, right? So let's look at formatting and we'll go to bars. And in here for the color, let's go and do some conditional formatting. And so for this, I want to go to the actual category. So we'll go to product and I'll choose the hierarchy and we'll do category. It'll be count and from high to low, we'll hit OK. And now we can see we've got this sort of gradient here. Then what I want to do is let's add a border on there. That looks cool. And then we'll get rid of the legend. So now we've got the base visual kind of set up the way we want it. Now what I can go do is for each layer of the hierarchy, I can actually create a bookmark so that it'll capture the state of that visual at that point. And then what I can use is navigator button to actually go through the different bookmarks themselves. So we're going to select our visual and then we're going to bring up our bookmark and we're going to say add and we'll call this demo category. Now here's where the magic comes in. So if I hit on the ellipsis, I want to come down and I want to choose selected visuals and then I'll just update for good measure. And what this means is it's only going to take into account this visual itself. It's going to ignore everything else that's on the page. So now what I also want to do is I want to group this and you'll see that I already had the product visual bookmarks defined for the other visual. So, okay, cool. So we've got our demo products and now we're going to go down a level. So now we're on the subcategory and then we're going to go ahead and do another bookmark. I'm going to make sure it's selected visual update, add it into the group, and now we'll go down to product name. We'll add, do select a visual, and then we'll update. And then when we switch between these, you'll see that it goes from category to subcategory to product. That in itself is magic. We can basically change the context of the visual from a bookmark perspective, which we've showed in other videos. And depending on your hierarchy, this may or may not be something you want to go to. And yes, I can already feel all the comments down below, like there's other ways you can do this. There absolutely is. And if that option works better for you, go that route. So let's get to the button, right? That's the fun part here. So let's go to insert. And we're going to go to buttons and we're going to come down to navigator and bookmark navigator. Wow. Look at that. Personally, that looks ugly to me, but we'll make it look really pretty. So the first thing we're going to want to do is choose bookmarks. And then we're going to come down and say, only pick our group that we created. So now it's just showing these items. So now if I go to category and I'm holding control down because I'm in Power BI desktop, I go to subcategory, I go to product, go back to category. This is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. So now what we want to do is we want to come down and style this up a little bit. So for default, we're going to do text and we're going to get rid of the border. And then the other thing we're going to do is add padding of four pixels to push it down a little bit. That's great. Let's bring this over here. Next, what we're going to do is play around with the selected item. So if we go to selective, we'll do transparency of nothing. And then we're going to change the font color to blue. We're going to make it bold. And then for the hover, we're going to change the fill to white. And we'll change the transparency all the way to 100%. That doesn't look like it's doing anything, but trust me, it will. And you'll have to play around with the text here because on my other visual, everything looked good, but that's because the bookmark names were smaller. 
Whereas now they're the same size, but there's a lot more text there. And that's because of how I named the bookmarks. So now I can control click and go through and these are all fine and dandy. So we're almost there, but you maybe noticed something where it had almost like an underline. So if we go back to the original visual, we want this underline item here and we'll get it where it shows for subcategory and product and for the selected item. So when I select it, look, subcategory, it's right there. And then for product, it's right there. So what do we do? Now, your first thing that you may be thinking is if we go back to the other visual, we'll go here and we'll say, just add an underline. So if I go to select it and I choose underline, eh, that doesn't exactly look the same. I mean, yeah, it kind of does it, but it's not as slick. So let's get rid of that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a line. So we'll insert a shape and we'll do a line. And then we'll put it under here. Let's go to the line style. We'll get rid of background. We'll add a line for each one of these. All right, and then what we wanna do is come to format and we're gonna select the button navigator and we're just gonna bring that to the front, bam. And now when we hover over, because of the transparency on the fill, we get that little underline effect. And when I go to that and we switch them, everything looks good. I would say with any good visual design, it's going to involve tinkering. And that's part of the fun, right? Getting it to look a certain way. And it makes it pop a little bit in my perspective. And again, all of this is subjective, but I thought it was a cool trick to leverage bookmarks for the hierarchy navigation, as well as this little underline effect. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm sure there's other ways to do this. If you've done this a different way, let us know. Let's keep the conversation going. And above my head, there's going to be another video you can watch on a topic related to Power BI or Microsoft Fabric. Definitely go check that out as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.